welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast, where we explore all things books, business, and bullshit. My favorite bees. I'm your host, the Fairy Coin Mother, Cinquanta Cocksmith of www.cinquantacocksmith.com. Now let's get into today's episode. Hey guys, it is season three, episode four, and as always, I am excited to be back with you guys on this beautiful Friday with another episode. Today, we are going to talk about how I showed up less, but still made my monthly income goal. So I do have a confession. Um, I previously recorded this episode, right? So i previously released it on Instagram and it will release sometime on my YouTube channel as well. But I know everyone doesn't follow me everywhere. So I do repurpose content sometimes, but this is a fresh one because I just recorded it last week. But also um, it is very near and dear to me to share my story and how I got to where I am, where I only have to work a few hours um, a day and still get the income that I deserve. Also, um, our Q Money Bags out of the week is going to be juicy um, because sometimes we're out here in this, these entrepreneur streets and we feel like we're alone or other people aren't going through the same thing. But when we do decide to be vocal and speak up um, for the things that we are experience, experiencing, someone else out there may be feeling that way. That's why I've been pretty much transparent as much as I can be or I can allow myself to be without feeling like I'm taking the weight on of so many other people. But um, I do have a conversation about that that I want to talk about today. But you guys know what time it is. It's time for our rapid fire question of the day. So the rapid fire question of the day is, where do you get your best ideas? So I wanted to share with you guys that I get my best ideas in the shower. It's like, as soon as I get naked, get up in the shower, start busting it down, washing all my goodies, just ideas after ideas come. And it's like nonstop. It's like the tunnel of my silence is open and all of these messages just pow through like my brain goes into overload and um I don't have them right now but I am going to reorder my shower uh notepad where it's waterproof and you can kind of jot down your ideas while you're in the shower without feeling like you are going to lose the best idea or train of thought or goodness that has come it could even be a recipe or a dinner or a meal or something um that will come to you in the shower um this is the best absolute thing i've ever heard of because like i said it's like i could be all day growing a blank and then as soon as i jump in the shower it's like everything makes sense and i sometimes have to repeat it over and over again and and hurry my beautiful self-care time to get out and get this idea out of my head um so the shower pads that are waterproof will definitely help you. I know some people get their ideas while they're driving or taking a long walk. Me, I get the best ones in the shower. So don't forget on Saturday when we post the rapid fire question of the day over on Instagram at Coins and Connections, make sure you join in on the conversation, share it, leave a message, let us know that you have um, where you get your shower ideas at or where you get your best ideas. Hey guys, it is your girl, Cinquanta Cox Smith of www.cinquantacoxsmith.com. And today I am here to talk about how I showed up less, but still reach my monthly income goals. So you may be thinking like, what? You, you didn't do anything? I'm not going to say I didn't do anything, but I did show up less online. Um, you might have forgot I was here. And that's okay with me because guess what? The check's still clear, right? So I have a list of some important and key information of how I was able to achieve this. But this is the disclaimer that I do want you to understand. I have been super intentional about being wealthy and unknown, okay? I don't need you to know me to make money, right? I don't want my face to be the face of the business. I have been trying to shrink 
um, you know, the attention from off of me and let the focus be on my businesses and my brand, right? And you may be wondering, how did you do that? I created a pen name store. So I do have coins and connections in the podcast that I am the face of, but I have, you know, I got that going. That's fine. I enjoy doing that. So it's it's fine. It doesn't need any extra attention. I'm just going to continue to create and upload because I want to and I love to. So for my pen name stores, um, they are totally unrelated to anything that I do in my life, um, any of my interests, but they make me money consistently. And that's all my print on demand businesses. So I just wanted to let you know that I was super intentional at the beginning of 2020 about kind of being behind the scenes. I did not um, want to create another business, but yet I had all these ideas. So this pen name store has been open for a while, a few years now. Um, I like when I tell you nothing has anything to do with me. Um, that's how I call it my secret business, but really it's just my print on demand business that I don't share with anybody because what do you need to know for? (laughs) So let me tell you what, um, I didn't do. Um, I hadn't posted on my IG feed since September 10th. I rarely showed up in my Instagram stories. I had one reel in September that was unrelated to my print on demand content. My last IGTV video was in July. I haven't shipped. Now listen to this. I have physical products, but I have not shipped a piece of anything since August. Um, I moved. So therefore, I really wasn't available to do anything. I moved in September. So in the middle of September and... That was a lot of traveling, packing and stuff. So I didn't have all of my things. I just had my laptop. Um, So I I moved. That was huge, right? (laughs) All of my September YouTube videos were pre-scheduled up until the 30th, right? All scheduled. I didn't record not one video after a certain amount of time in September. Things that I did do. I created a schedule for my podcast. We're on 10 episodes two week break, 10 episodes, two week break, unless I, you know, announce that otherwise, right? I put out useful YouTube videos that in turn continue to roll in to my digital products and my freebies where I have set up a workflow in a two-step funnel. Boom, okay? So I sent a few emails. Now get this one. This is the good one. Only through Gumroad. I think I thought about sending one through MailChimp. I might have sent one, um, and I did send one. I definitely sent one to another pin name. Ha! Print on demand. Another pin name um, for about an ebook, right? So I did that. Um, so I did send out a few emails, but get this: my Gumroad email list is less than a thousand people, but it I get paid every Thursday from it. Today I'm gonna get paid from it. And it's a nice, healthy chunk, right? So, um, yeah, my audience, all my audiences are less than a 1,000 because I did, like, delete a whole bunch of people last year and I was just over sending emails. Um, And then I kind of managed my POD business. So I might work three hours a day. Um, Today is a late start. It's my, like, 1030. Um, Usually I start around 9. And I can work to maybe 12 and be done for the day. So today I'm going to record this video, make sure everything is good with the podcast. I am going to manage some orders, make sure things have gotten shipped out, handle any customer service uh, things. And then I'm done today. I'm done to sit up in my house with my feet up, um, clean. I'm going to cook dinner early today because we got a lot of things going on this evening and tomorrow. But... This is the freedom (laughs) I have been looking for where I can maintain my business in a few hours a day. Like I'm really a part-time, um, part-time employee in my own business and no, I don't have any help, but that's what makes print on demand. So good. You really, people hire help, but if I'm only doing three hours of work, what do I have for you to do? (laughs) <laughs> and that's just me being honest. So, um, yeah, I just 
manage up the order. And if I really want help, I'll probably hire my kids or a relative to just kind of do this stuff. And then I don't have to work at all. But other than recording. So, um, yes, that is how I showed up less and still reach my income goals. And I am on track to reach my yearly goal that I wanted by showing up less. So I know a lot of people will say, well, you have to post this much on Instagram. You have to do this. I always say train your audience where to find you, right? Train them where to find you. They'll always find you. In every single one of my videos, I say my name and where I'm from. So they'll always go to my website. My website is like a spider web. It'll take you to books, Gumroad, YouTube, podcast. That's all you need. And if you want to contact me, there's a contact button, right? Everything you need to know is right there in all of the links. And I only have two public websites. Is you know, basically the coins and connections in SaintQuantaCoxsmith.com. So I train you where to find me. Anything that I want you to know, my name is on it, right? So my name is on my books on Amazon and a few of my journals. That's what I want you to find. But I have over, probably almost 2,000 journals on Amazon that are not under my name. I maybe have 20 something books under my name. Other than that, they're all pen names, but I have at least almost 2,000 titles on Amazon. I have 400 shirts on Amazon, but they're not even really under my name. So this is, um, I'm living, I'm loving it. <laughs> If you made it through this seven minute video, I try to keep it five minutes, but I just wanted you to know that it is possible, but you have to be intentional about it and you have to be sure this is what you want for your life and business. Yes, I grinded hard for the past three years to get here. I grinded since 2009 when I made my first t-shirt to get here where I can relax, collect my coins, and be here for my family because that was my ultimate goal and the fact that i moved that's why i say for these military spouses out here print on demand is the way to go i moved my business and i didn't have one hiccup with anything i don't have to ship anything i've made sure my business is you know good to go you won't run into problems of course you're gonna have customer service issues sometimes the wrong thing will come out but there's it's too easy to communicate, update, and resend. Or my favorite thing, refund for the problematic customers out there, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, I want you to go over to my YouTube channel, subscribe. It's youtube.com backslash smileyquanta. Go check out all of my how to start a print on demand business and check out my journal uh, business series. And I will be starting a new series soon. Um, so check that out and I hope you guys enjoy this video and just enjoy letting you know that it is possible and when that time's come for you, be intentional about, it, intentional about it and just do it. So I'm super excited about where I am in my business and I'm just, I'm just happy to get shit done for it. That's me. So I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. So I get asked a lot, how did you start your podcast? Where do I begin? How can I start a podcast? Well, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. You know, I'm down with the free. There's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership like ain't nobody listening yet and you making money how dope is that it's everything you need to make a podcast in one place so what are you waiting on download the free anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started Hey Coin Snatchers, before we jump into this episode, I want to let you know that I decided to create an exclusive listening and video bonus for all my listeners to join. You can become a book bay or business bay for only $5 a month. You will get access to additional podcast episodes and exclusive videos, along with blog posts of information that I want to share only with my BB bays. So, 
Go on over to patreon.com backslash and Quanticock Smith and join today. I'll make sure I leave all the details in the description so you can join me as a BB Bay today. This segment is called Q Money Bags Thought of the Week. Alright guys, so the Q Money Bag Thought of the Week is a really good one. Um, I have gone through different phases and changes which kind of brought along this episode about you know how I showed up less because I no longer wanted to be a coach or be a consultant um it was draining and no longer sport spark joy for me and I just needed to be done um I got to a place where I am now like I said told you guys sharing in a way that makes me happy um when the podcast or YouTube becomes a burden I will cross that hurdle when it gets there. But right now, these are the two things that I truly enjoy doing every day. I just love sharing with you guys, talking, um, and just, you know, sharing what I know. (laughs) It's all about me testing things out and letting you guys see that it can be done. And I'm human too, and I make mistakes. Not everything I try will work. But I did try. So that was my biggest thing. Um, And while I was on Instagram over the week, I don't know if it was the weekend or last week, but um, Emily Dela Cruz, I have had a coaching call with her. I have taken one of her really good courses. And at the time that I took the course, I was ready to set up the Easy Money Starter Pack course. It was going to be like a full on my my, um, prime offer. Um, And I never finished it because it just, it was in a weird time where I was like, do I really want to hand hold? Do I really want to have my energy taken so much by, you know, helping so much? Um, and it, it was crazy. So I want to read one thing that she said in um, one of her posts. Let me find you real quick. I'm, I'm so bad because I should have had it. Um, this line struck gold for me. So it said, So if you're lost and feeling like all your value comes what you can do for people and not who you are, it's a behavior you need to unlearn and you will be so much more thankful for it. I know I am. And that's what she said. And I felt that so deeply, so freaking deeply because I've I've been Captain Sabaho. For so many people, and not many people were there to save me through my darkest moment, especially the ones who always came with the negative energy, you know. Um, I've let people go out of my life because I try to be the voice of reason or Captain Sabaho, and every single time, like, they would call or they would come around, it would just be drama after drama. And mind you, these weren't my problems to solve. But I still tried to be Captain Save a Hole till I could not any longer. And I just had to distance myself um, from people like that. And, you know, they always say, people so always say, don't kick, don't kick someone when they're down. But I, what, I would never do that. But what you're not going to do is take me down with you, okay? So we ain't going down together. I, I might let you sink a little because I can swim. <laughs> but you ain't gonna take me down with you. And and that's on that, period, okay? Um, and in my case, I did the work and I healed from so much finally at the age of 33. I am not trying to go backwards. The only reason I'm going backwards is over my own shit, not somebody else's shit. So um, I'm not gonna take on, in, take on any unnecessary energy that will return um, me to the fucked up place that I was. And I've been given for so many years. And when I when I would finally take time for myself, I would feel guilty. Like, and you probably felt like that, like, oh my gosh, when I do think about doing something for myself, everyone around me has a problem with it. And then you feel guilty for wanting to give yourself more, loving yourself more, take yourself out to dinner, shopping, movie, whatever. And you feel guilty. But I'm gonna tell you, sis, bro, not anymore. I am being selfish, selfish. Because you know, when you say it twice, it means something. I'm being selfish, selfish. Um, I'm being selfish with my time and I'm being selfish with my energy. And I want to go on to say that someone asked Emily on her post, well, how do you do that? 
And I really thought that this response was golden because earlier this year, um, I talked to Gabby. She's been on the podcast um, a few times. And I was just asking about like attachment stuff and reading up on it. And I talked through this with my therapist as well. And it was a really good um, learning period, more so about myself and what type of attachment style I had. So she said, well, therapy, of course, and YouTube and attachment styles and a rabbit hole of other things. Just sitting with yourself and the consequences of not people pleasing, of overperforming. I jumped off social for months, started saying no, and slowly started to become comfortable and just being me. And sometimes it sounds a lot harder, but you take that step one at a time. I'm getting to the point where, yeah, I'll check um, Instagram and Facebook a few times a day, but then sometimes I'll completely forget I have the Facebook app. And this is kind of what happened with me with Snapchat. I deleted it one day and I didn't look back. I probably downloaded it three times this year. And within an 30 minutes, I was like, okay, what the fuck am I doing on here? So if you have things that you want to accomplish, small steps, um, before you know it, you'll be totally free of social media and all the social judgment and living your best life underneath the radar, like that is my hopes and my dreams to diss a fucking pair and only be available via podcast and YouTube, like on some real shit. I've already started not really posting in my stories. Um, I already slowed down with my posting on Facebook. So I feel like eventually these things will come to a point where I don't have the apps on my phone at all. But I will use maybe like a schedule app if I have something important that I need to say via those platforms. But other than that, y'all, I'm good on that. Um, So I hope this conversation helps anyone who is struggling with, you know, kind of finding their footing and feeling like, okay, am I going down the right route? Is is my energy different? Is this dragging me down? Please reevaluate. This lifestyle should not kill you, okay? Um, it should bring you joy. I think, and I think that's what we, we see the hustle and the bustle and we see the sacrifice. It's okay to sacrifice, but don't sacrifice to the point where you are killing yourself. We have to find time to enjoy what we put the work in. Um, and we have to take breaks and we have to be, you know, necessarily strong and healthy for ourselves. So I hope this, um, episode brought you something different that you needed confirmation, a message, or just some encouraging words. And until next time. Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to the Coins and Connections podcast. Don't forget to leave a review and join the conversation over on Facebook and Instagram using the hashtag Coins and Connections. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Smith and at Coins and Connections. You can shop all merch at www.coinsandconnections.com. I love you more than I love this podcast. Peace.